the normal human skull. Now inside our skull sits our brain. The skull provides a protection to our brain from any kind of injury. Since we are born and as we grow old, the brain grows as well as the skull grows. Now just imagine that we are growing but the skull is not growing and neither is the brain. This rare condition is called microcephaly. In the past few weeks, we've heard a lot about Zika virus and how it has been linked to this rare condition called microcephaly. Today, let us try and understand what is microcephaly and how it can affect someone's life. Welcome to Doctors on Call. Now microcephaly is a rare neurodevelopmental condition which causes an abnormally small skull with an underdeveloped brain. For example, if the normal skull circumference of a newborn baby is 36 centimeters, then a baby with microcephaly could have a skull of only 20 centimeters. Now microcephaly is of two types, primary and secondary. It is called primary microcephaly when it is diagnosed when the baby is still in the womb. In secondary microcephaly, the baby has a normal skull size at birth, but it stops growing after that. So even though the rest of the body grows, the skull stays small. The WHO has declared Zika virus as a global medical emergency. We are still learning about the disease, but unfortunately, we don't have a treatment or a cure for it. An Indian company has claimed that they have a vaccine for Zika virus, but more data and information is needed. The most common reasons that cause microcephaly include infections like rubella, chickenpox and toxoplasmosis during pregnancy, decreased oxygen to the baby in the womb, exposure to alcohol during pregnancy, poor nutrition to the mother during pregnancy, genetic conditions like Down syndrome, a condition called craniosyntosis that causes the bones of the skull to fuse early, causing a small size of the skull. One of the latest causes of microcephaly is the Zika virus. In Brazil, from October 2015 to January 2016, there were 4,000 cases of microcephaly alone, raising the concern, is there a connection? When the brains of these babies were studied closely, they found that they contained the Zika virus. The Zika virus spreads through the bite of the female Aedes aegypti mosquito. This is the same mosquito which spreads dengue and chikungunya as well. Microcephaly can lead to delays in speech, vision, seizures and mental retardation. This can be very stressful for the child and family as very few children can lead normal lives. When thinking about microcephaly, it's important to think about maternal exposures during pregnancy as well as taking a detailed family history and that's really how uh, clues can be obtained as to the potential causes for microcephaly. Pregnant women should avoid travel to endemic areas uh, for Zika virus and this is changing constantly and women should um, really look at various travel advisories uh, to see uh, whether areas that they're thinking about traveling to have been included uh, at risk for Zika virus. Please take steps to protect yourself from mosquito bites and please avoid traveling to those countries where the virus is spreading.